This will go down to three attack. We're going up to five health. Oh my gosh, it's all strike through too. Guys, look at the play. Uh oh, no, 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 no. I think we're good because we're going phase for ten, five at least, and then it's four and six. None of his superpowers can prevent. No, we win. That's guaranteed. Got him. Got him. Nice try, bro. What's going on, everybody? It's a fry. So today we are doing the Bananasaurus Rex Sunstrike. Thank you, Frieza, for asking me to do this deck a million times. They're over there in the chat every day. Now, uh, it's actually a pretty cool combo because you got your Bananasaurus Rex, which has a very high potential for a four-cost card since it has double strike. Uh, if you play this, <coughs> let's say on turn four, then you can play uh, the next turn, play Sunstrike. It'll end up being a 5-5 with double strike. Uh, which is awesome. The Sunstrike itself will make will trigger the Diamond Roars in this deck. Sunstrike will also work very well. A lot of other cards in the deck, like Cobb Cannon going phase for six. This will go phase for four uh, if it has Strike Through. Your Pepper MD is also going to be another very big card. You can buff that uh, using the Little Buddies that will heal you for two. And the Catch-It Mechanic, not only a very good control card to get to the late game, where we're going to be doing our big combos, uh, very good card together with the Pepper MD, causing all those little bit of heals. Plus, we're running Allosaurus in this deck, uh, which is another way to heal everything. Your Pepper MDs can end up being massive for a two-cost card to be able to have that have strike through, so they can't even chump block it. That's how we're going to win the game. We have all these dinosaurs, so running Captain Cucumber in the stack. Even this together with strike through ain't bad, because then it'll conjure you two cards. Once you have a Captain Cucumber, conjure you a bunch of cheap, up, you know, gamers? legendaries Time that cost one less. I mean, it's hard Kappa. to lose the game at that point. Running a few copies of the Banana Peel, so this will be able to be a cheap way to trigger your Dino Roars. I'm thinking, like, Twin Sunflower you can play on turn two, so then on turn three, we are running, like, Allosaurus. You could also just play your Banana Source Rex plus a Superpower or plus a Banana Peel. That will make the Banana Source Rex be a 4-4, four, four. so potentially turn three. You'll be able to do 8 damage, which is pretty good. I think the Banana Peel, anyway, to be able to manipulate lanes. Plus, it just conjures you a card that costs one less with the Captain Cucumber. I just find Banana Peel whenever I'm facing it. It's always really good. So let's see if we can make it happen in this deck. Running Black IP just for the early game, be able to counter, you know, trick-based decks. I think this deck kind of is the full package. Has very strong early game, very strong late game. It has Conjure, Card Draw, uh, really powerful removal with the Cop Cannon. Let's see how the deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. Get right into the game. Uh, so we are going to do bets. Uh, these games will go... Let's just go 6 out of 8 today. Because I feel like the games are going to go pretty long. So if you think this deck will win 6 out of 8, vote yes. 5 out of 8 is going to be an over here at the live stream. Twitch.tv forward slash. Fry them up. Let's go. Chat's being crazy right now. Come on, chat. Give these guys some sanity. <laughs> Playing again. Uh, looks good. See if we can find something to ramp to. Ah, that's nice. So, two really good options for turn two. Uh, in a deck like this, by the way, you have to heal superpower. Oh my gosh, I actually don't have an answer to turn one. Uh, terrible play to play Unlike for the Party on turn one. Usually loses a trade. We are not running anything on turn one to actually answer a dumb play like this. Yeah, looks like we're gonna have to pass. CrossFit for 74 months has still never missed a month since since the beginning of when it became a Twitch partner. Thank you, CrossFit. Wow, this guy though, this guy. All right, so so it begins. Yeah, this person's like spamming me during a stream, so you guys know what happens. I accepted a whole bunch of friends the other day. We were playing some matches with viewers, and now I'm going to have a few of those every once in a while. It's all good. Uh, yep, you can send decks using your fries. That's what you, one of the many things you can do with them. Uh, so that's annoying. We're we're gonna there there is a world where we use the banana peel here. Um, it's probably just gonna be Allosaurus. <clears throat> yeah, it's just gonna be. Al I'm just looking at the the play next turn. We don't even need this ramp anymore next turn. Uh, so we're gonna be taking a little damage to face, but we're gonna be able to do Pepper MD heal next turn, and that is gonna make a, a tremendous, humongo, 
Pepper MD. That just gets reset to a 1-1, one, one, so that's not even a good encrypt. Uh, it will make a little bit less heals. Um, I think we don't really need to take more damage here. I think this is fine. It'll make our next turn more sun efficient. Shut up and take my money. Captain Cucum. Thank you, Kirby, for donating ten dollars. Really appreciate it. Who's Kirby? Thanks guys for, for, for your support. I appreciate it. I don't see yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'll start talking about money right now. Alright, so we got this awesome play. He's gonna draw a bunch of cards, unfortunately. Uh, there's nothing really we're going to be able to top deck either, but this is the turn where we definitely have to do the Pepper MD. Yeah, this is definitely happening. So this heals two times. This will just go up to 6-6. Six, six. And then at the end of this turn, uh, we're actually going to heal Face and heal the Allosaurus and heal the Pepper MD. So the Pepper MD is going to have a thousand attack next turn. Opponent's going to draw all these cards, but there's <clears throat> no real way of preventing that. Meaning, I know Kirby, the video game character, but I'm wondering which of the viewers who are the, the people here, which of you guys, which of your alias is Kirby? There is someone who was named Kirby. He was a very, he was a troll. It seems like some of the game sound just stopped working. It's really weird. The game sound is like in and out. There's something with the app. Maybe I'll restart it. All right, so what are we doing here? We have Sunstrike for a lot of damage. Uh, the Sunstrike itself also will will heal this by one. It'll be two more with the Sunstrike. So this is going to go up to 16 attack when we Sunstrike. And 16 and 4 is 20. This should be an OTK, guys. <laughs> this should just finish the game here. Because what is he going to do? What can he possibly have? They're both strike stress, 20 damage. Imagine blocking. Huh? There's nothing you can <laughs> got him. Easy. Easy. Yeah, we'll just uh we'll just hold on to that for overkill damage. I don't care. We literally could just clear his field with that <laughs> too. I don't care. I don't care. Yo, dead. Wow, what a great first game there. Pepper MD MVP, one of the best cards in the game. Literally, it's like a six years. It took, it took my friend Samen six years to figure out how good that card is. <laughs> He's the one. Honestly, I figured it out years before him, but I didn't know why. We were making these decks with Pepper MD. They were called like Hurt Me Daddy, Hurt Me Mommy with Wall Knight and Chomzilla, but I didn't really get it. He didn't recognize it. <coughs> Samen is the one who did. Alright, so this is pretty good ramp. I think holding on to a Pepper MD in this situation. Is Captain Cucumber worth it? It'll be fine in case he answers our turn too somehow. In case he's running Beam Me Up. I I'm not really worried about Hugh Gigantscus running Beam Me Up. Maybe it's a good idea to run Beam Me Up when you're playing Hugh Gigantscus because no one plays around it. Uh, what about the Scorch? Taking a little bit of damage is not necessarily a bad thing. We'll probably have a better Scorch later. With space times and all the stuff that Huge Giganticus runs. Do you have kids? Yes, I do. I got two little boys. Two babies. Kirby, you're the one who donated? Thank you, Kirby. His username is literally Kirby19565. I really appreciate it. Thanks for donating food to my children. It's not like they're in Africa starving or anything like that, but thank you. Still appreciate it. Okay, so the Scorch is interesting. Uh, I think I'm just going to play it like that. I wonder if this should have gone here to be able to play around Flame Face and Line Dancing Zombie. I probably would have been smart to actually play this somewhere else. I'm playing around Laser Base Alpha next turn, but... Usually, double headstone like carver on two means he's not going for laser base alpha here. So, yeah, it could happen. We'll see what happens here. 
Yeah, so no strike through. Really happy about that. Uh, we'll be able to get some um, Pepper MD and Valiant stuff. I'm gonna know. No. We can probably just play the Pepper MD and Scorch next turn. Man, we're making six though. So cool. Scorch Pepper MD Captain Cucumber looks amazing. So it's gonna be like this. This little bit of damage coming in is not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, I didn't realize my Allosaurus is dying though. There's nothing I can actually do about that. Dang. So is Pepper MD not even the play? It feels so bad. I wish I could play this banana peel. That would be amazing, but oh, this dies. That's annoying. Okay, so I'm going to go Captain Cucumber plus uh, Black Eyed Pea is actually better. Too bad. Even if the Allosaurus had been in a more right lane, um, I'd actually be able to do something. But we're conjuring some more cards. Pine Clone, interesting. <laughs> I should probably play that sooner than later. It's a cob cannon. Uh, the only turn I'm really going to be able to use the pine clone is like right now. Do I make a uh, pepper MD be a two cost three three with the pine clone? I don't know. Uh, Mug will take a peek. Gotta click on the Mug while he's going in. So you got the Iron Border, then the Headstone Carver. So it's gonna be Mug, then Headstone, then Iron Border is gonna be a 3 4. Um, I don't know if we Pine Clone here. I think drawing the cards and that continuation is gonna be better. I mean, I could just Pine Clone and then. Well, no, I can't. Well, I can Pine Clone. Problem is the 5-5 five five is here going phase. What do I do about this play? None of the Pine Clone doesn't really trade well against anything. Anyway. Uh this is rough. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna Captain Cucumber and call it a day. We'll get two more legendaries, they'll cost two less apiece, and then we'll go from there. It's we could really use some heals though. Looks like the Pine Clone is just being left to die. It doesn't make sense to transform Captain Cucumbers into Pine Clones here. We're taking 5 damage, too. Maybe I should have put this Captain Cucumber here so we're not going to get so low. Luckily, we got some heals. That's what I'm talking about. So that's a 4 cost. Wow, look at the combo, guys. Look at the combo. We got lip we got Poppin' Poppy's Pepper MD. <laughs> so great. Thank you to... What is... Who just donated? I'm spacing out. Thank you to Narg Hazard. Viking Overshoot. It's an interesting idea. Or with Disco Dance Floor. Uh, maybe I'll write it down. We also have 8 cost Cornucopia. I'm going to do this first. Because we really do need some heals. We also have Cobb Cannon coming up, man. This is a this is a pretty uh This is a pretty epic play though. So it's healing us twice. Pepper MD will go way up. We could play this. I think I'll just save this for the Cobb Cannon. I'd have to play it behind. Doesn't make sense. Shut up and take my money. Do you know who John Pork is? Thank you, Kirby. No, I have no idea who that is. John Pork? Is he a pig? Is that Porky the Pig's cousin? That's my best guess. That's all I got, man. Walnut bowling. Really nice to have a really expensive finisher that can be played on a full field. I think we're making seven this turn. Reincarnation. Fun. So this should put him away here. <laughs> we're just full. Our hand just full of legendaries. We're never going to run out of steam. Probably just walnut bowling. Looks pretty good. I'll do this next turn. Yay! <laughs> So procs the block. It sets up some damage. Protects these lanes. Pretty good. Let's see what he does. Crispy bacon? Yeah, I know who crispy bacon is. That one I know. 
Google it or whatever whatever <laughs> Canadians use to search. Yeah, we use MSN here in Canada. Just MSN search. Wow, look at this guy going in face for seven. Sheesh. Sheesh. My gosh. I'm kind of getting milled. Sort of. Uh, damn. That's harsh. So we got Cobb Cannon. Plus nothing? Bro. Bro, why? Whoa! We actually lost that game, okay? McKay. He just teleported his way in the mustache monument with strike through. Come on, man. Too bad. John Pork is a computer generated pig. There you go. That was pretty harsh. Let's see what the bets are. So the bets for 6 out of 8, 74% of you voted yes. 26 no. Harry Beater? I don't know what that means. Alright, we'll keep it. Um, it's nice again, a little ambitious to save Holo Flora for turn six to Many be able to combo with the uh the dude. I think it's a little too ambitious. We're gonna really need to pick up a catch a mechanic. Yeah, that's nice. This guy's gonna be going full aggro if you see loose cannon on one. It's just gonna be pretty relentless here. Thank you, Lazarus, for 26 months. Hell yeah. So we got plenty of heals, plenty of ketchup. We'll leave this on the field for the ketchup mechanic. Uh, if he passes here, probably go black IP. If he Shut up and take my money. For Thank you, P Meister. Add at Mechasaur? What? What does it even mean? Add Mechasaur? Um, I wonder if I do the Pepper MD. I'm thinking two, three, four. I think this is right. <clears throat> and then five. There's no rush for the Pepper MD here. I'd rather not. I don't like the bullseye. That kind of messed him up. So we can play. We're playing off curve, so we can scorch just at any point here. Taking the damage is fine because we actually need. We need the damage. So it's gonna be we need a leap. We need a AU. Leap. And a you. Doesn't really matter where we do that. Saving this for the cop cannon is probably a good idea. Or for the next Pepper MD, I didn't realize we just picked up a second one. It's just drawing cards. Thank you, Saber Bomb, for 61 months. Um, I think this is fine. We'll hit him with this. Hit him with dish. I mean, we could just scorch next turn. Let's just do it like this. This will make any tricks he plays really inefficient. <laughs> Double dance floor? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, John Pork. <laughs> so this is awesome. We'll do this uh, next turn. After we take a little bit more damage here. Look, these Pepper MDs are out of control right now. Top decking a Sunstrike here would be the best card. Thank you so much. You guys are donating so much today. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Switch You. The Canadian government took all my money, basically. <laughs> 
<laughs> the taxes here are stupid, and it's like, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Very much indeed. So that gets rid of the teleporting, and this is just, I mean, these pepper MDs are, they're way beyond fruitcake range. Way, 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 not even close. <laughs> Come on, man, pepper MD is a good card. I think we have Cobb Cannon next turn. This was turn five, right? Yeah. Okay, he rockets one. Which, by the way, gets double punished. Oh, look at the black eyed peas now. He's actually running rocket signs, so good for him. Justin Tudo took like, away my money, yeah, exactly, actually. <sighs> It's weird because when you like, they start at a certain point, they start like making you pay your taxes four times a year and you just have no money in the to bank be ever. Fair, you weren't using it. <laughs> no, shush. Sh sh <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks to the Canadian government. I promise I'll pay my taxes. I'll be a good boy. I promise. Damn, this deck though is doing really well. Do that, we lost the game already, but. Come on, Justin Trudeau. I definitely plan on leaving Canada, though. This is not my forever home, for many reasons. Will I ever play more Casey's mod? I don't have any plans. Right for now, for the variety content, we're playing Roblox, having a lot of fun with that. Uh, should I keep Pepper MD in this hand? The moment we get any heals, it becomes amazing. I think this is fine. I think I'll hold on to it. What are your thoughts on Bill C11? Yeah, they're trying to like make like censorship in Canada basically for streaming services, which is very sad. Uh, if they pass that bill, I'll, I'll leave the next day. I will literally throw my residency card at them and say bye. I'm never coming back here. Facts. Uh, so the question is, do we draw cards here? I'm not gonna save it for the banana Rex. It's too greedy. Thank you, Kirby. Though appreciate it, bro. This is a good play. He probably has a smoke bomb, but. Means we get a two cost three four. He spends two cards for a five one. He's also smoke bombing this onto the ground, which is crazy. Shut up. I mean, we could have scorched it before, but now when we get scorch, this scorchable. Um, I think this. Well, we can we can actually just banana peel. This is actually a good banana peel. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Have banana. I think... Okay, so this is turn three. What are we doing next turn? I don't really know what this guy is doing right now. Uh, spamming this would make this more effective next turn. I think I am going to spam it. <clears throat> I think having lanes clogged in this matchup where he's trying to go aggro face anti-hero is going to be a good idea. Let's see if he has another smoke bomb. I, honestly, if he deadlies here, it's fine. That's okay, too, because we still win this trade next turn. This is going to go up to 4-5. We're in excellent shape. If he puts another minion now down, this becomes a really good play. We used to have healing for years. I mean, this this is a nightmare if you're trying to play aggro as super brains. To go up against. I could also just spam this and make the B-Rex into a 4-4, four, four, so. Yes, he actually put another guy on the field, which is good for us. A third guy? We'll get a little one-cost science card. Spam it here. I could be Rex here too. Uh, 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 I could go four or five. 
You're right, the B-Rex is very strong here. Let's see. He put a 1-2 on the 2-2. Two, two. If we would have put a good card here, then I would have had to start healing and stuff. He does a bonus attack. Great. <laughs> so he just spends all of his money <laughs> trying to get a trade even. Great. Perfect. Doesn't get better. He has no board now. So we'll either develop a, another dinosaur. The Pepper MD is the least of his, of, of his worries right now. So we'll either... Oh my gosh, we got a little buddy. That's so huge, because now we can just little buddy and then play Allosaurus. Probably a Pogo. If he spams multiple minions, we'll do this, but if not, it's a pretty easy play. So we'll go on Heights. It's Drone Engineer, so this guy's just running. A pile. Drone Engineer, Mini Ninja in the same deck. I am no longer scared. Right, I wish I could donate you energy to make non PvZ heroes content. I think I have half a formula that, that works now. Because I'm just recording them offline for under an hour. I think I can really keep that up consistently now. So what are our options? Two and four? <laughs> or just five? I don't like this. Deadly. More heals to come. Like, what, he's gonna keep this Melly zombie alive? I guess that's smart. But the problem is, that it's basically guaranteed lethal. He has the California roll. We're doing six and two. So, I'm just gonna change the score. Optimistically. He ain't gonna, no, now it's guaranteed. Thank you, Glee, for gifting some subs. Real appreciate it, Glee. We need a leap. We need a leap. <laughs> Thank you, Air Slides. You guys are so nice. I really appreciate. I know it's many years I'm doing this, but when people come in and just say thanks, Fry, for the entertainment, and really love your content, and watching you for a long time, just wanted to say hi. It, it warms my heart every time. I mean it. So, thank you, guys. <clears throat> over here in the live stream, the YouTube comments. I, I go through the YouTube comments. I don't answer every single one because it's just a lot. But, um, you know, I, I see them. I don't just spam little hearts. I actually read. <laughs> I actually read the comments. Uh, probably should have kept catch a mechanic over this, right? <laughs> Whoops. Catch a mechanic's just a better card against Infinity, who just spams a lot. But, uh, Captain Cucumber, you know, it's kind of slower. It dies pretty bad to Con Man, because you get, you take damage every time. But this should be okay. I probably, now that we're ramping to Elisaurus, I, I think I will save this for extra heals. After turn five. Maybe it depends what he does. If he plays Kamen here, I'm definitely just going to hold this. Find meta decks with Mini Ninja and Smelly. I've tried. I've tried. We've done, like, Teleport Mini Ninja. Um, we've also done with Smelly Zombie, like, the, we call it the Smelly Black Hole. You do with uh, Black Hole and Neptuna as a control. It never really worked. Uh, I didn't work on it that hard, to be honest. Uh, so go on heights because the Allosaurus can go on heights, be protected from the laser base alphas eventually. <laughs> Bruh. Honestly, that's okay. It's just a random imp. This is the play, right? Random Imp. We heal the damage back. We'll heal the face damage back. That's really annoying, but it's okay. <laughs> I'll probably just draw a Cobb Cannon in four here. If he plays like a Cowboy in one, it's gonna be an easy play with the little buddy. <coughs> a 
We could probably still do it though. I think it's worth it. There's also a world that we we play. Okay, there is a there is a universe where we banana peel and then do something else with our turn and then hit him with the cob cannon next turn. I feel like I have to at least block this damage. Nah. Let's just play smart. That's such a stupid play. We can do the banana peel next turn. So this will be a 3 for 1. It'll keep the uh, Allosaurus alive. So it's worth spending the little buddy there. And, uh, well, 3 for 2, I guess. But we healed too. And graveyard. Who cares? We are in excellent shape. Getting opponent down to 10. We're going to be back up to 14. And we have, we're going to have a lot of healing. So we have a lot of health in our hand right now. Uh, this will make us not able to use the banana peel. See, this is interesting. We can actually just, like, banana peel this away. Uh, let's do that. Move this to face and let him draw cards. That's smart. Oh, gosh, just got a three-cost Bananasaurus Rex. Which, ironically, we can't even use anymore. I probably should have not let him draw cards and just fronted the Captain Cucumber with this and kind of YOLO'd it, but... Now what do I do? Just chump block with this, so he doesn't draw a card. I think sacrificing a card for a card here is good. Well, do you like B-Rex plus this next turn? Oh, he's deadly anyway. That's nice. Oh, we're doing four. This will just proc the block. Can you bring back the 30 and out control nightcap? Yeah. I was thinking of it. It's on my deck list, giant deck list somewhere. Glad this Toxic Waste Imp is dying, though. Come oh, on, I'm clearing my board. Uh, the cool thing is now is that we have all this ramp, and the catch-up mechanic actually kills the the dude here, so that's pretty good. So it's going to be 4-3-1. We'll save the cheaper one. Uh, now that I think of it, playing the cheaper one would have allowed us to play a banana peel if we happened to top deck that, which we did. Uh, this is pretty good. Though. Headstone Carver is a 2 3. Unless he has a deadly, this B Rex is going to go face for 6 here, so Captain Cucumber will buff it with the Dino Roar value. Anyway, th th I mean, this game's good. We're at 20 health. This guy's never going to be able to <laughs> kill us with an imp deck. We're just healing too much. Heal really, you know, takes away a lot of strategies. There's a lot of decks, zombie decks, that rely, you know, they have like a certain amount of damage they can do, and then it just kind of like plateaus because they're just running a lot of swarm and a lot of really low attack guys, not a, a lot of huge win conditions. They kind of just grind you down quickly. But uh, so running heal dominates that. Heal also really is a pain if you're even running a big one turn kill with a lot of attack. Like Brainstorm, like, uh, you know, a trickster deck. If you're to try to do, you know, if you've already done that initial eight damage and they're at 12, so teleport trickster or trickster mustache monument wins the game. If they start healing back up to 20 at that point, it just, you need a lot of win conditions. So. Or a really big Valkyrie. Thank you, Glee, for gifting another sub. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. I'm going to actually make soon, um, like, a Patreon for a monthly thing. That I mean, I have Patreon already, but I'm going to make some, like, real rewards and Patreon-only streams and some real stuff like that. So, uh, give people an opportunity to have more of a one-on-one -on -one connection. I think that'll be cool. I just need to set that up. It's just how many hours... Sunstrike! We've only really used the Sunstrike once. Should I just keep it? <laughs> I think let's actually look for some... Okay, that's so much better. Uh, that's a pretty good, pretty good hand. <coughs> he goes, you know, dry, two drop. Same with that. It's nice to have an answer, too. I'm not gonna chomp that. We would like to take a little damage because of Pepper Empty. And it's, it's not necessarily... Like, this isn't really gonna give him any value. It's just gonna give us blocks for free. So. So we'll see what happens. We have two plays that are very 
uh, strong if he plays a card and very weak if he passes. But honestly, if he uses a lightning bolt superpower to kill this, which he might have to, it's it's fine. Yeah, so that's really good. Definitely don't want getting the pepper MD. I mean, if we just got through the turn, he's still charging our block meter, which is very nice of him. So there's the Borg. The Borg. Uh, interesting. So we could do this greedy play where we pepper MD and then banana peel. We can also just pepper MD here. Banana peel. Uh, taking more damage to face and less to the pepper MD, I think is the play here. So it's pepper MD banana peel. Pepper MD goes on the ground. And we will have a pretty good catch-up mechanic. Next turn, got a one drop to go there. Welcome back to Jello Pudding. Uh, is this? Well, it's coming up turn five. I think we'll actually hold on to this, weirdly. We have plays for the next two turns, then this will actually be really good on turn six. So. Cuckoo! Uh, so that's cool. This actually gives us a one health minion here, which usually would kill the 4 4. Uh, but in this case, we actually have our Chomzilla superpower, so that'll keep this alive. We also have a 6 6. <laughs> We're back up to 19 health, by the way. Uh, I'm putting a 3 cost 6 6 on the board. Completely balanced card here. We got from the uh, catch it mechanic. How come when I pressed on catch it mechanic, it it like it thought I was pressing on the devour card? That was weird. So yeah, yeah. So we're setting up for a guaranteed block here, which is really good. Uh, so that means the Allosaurus now. If we play it in lane three, when he procs the block, it'll actually get this above. You know, if he might play the cyborg here. He'll actually lose that trade now. That will that will turn out to be a really bad play for him. And, and as long as he doesn't get toxic waste him, the Pepper MD will live. In a big way. Oh, we don't need Scorch. We we got this. I mean this is in the bag. So we just we'll just hold on to this here. I'll keep it. La 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 la. Good, you did two damage, so that's good. So this will get healed twice now. Oh, well, that's nice. So look at this Pepper MD. I'm not even going to play the other Allosaurus. I'm just going to play Pepper MD and Holoflora. Uh, maybe Geyser. <laughs> I don't even need to play Geyser. There's no point. Um, so we'll play... I guess I'll make this go face. So the Holoflora, let's just see. It'll heal two, three times. So this will be up to 8-8. Eight, eight. doesn't even die to Alienus. And if he alien uses this, it kind of loses anyway. So it's going to be like you, like you. <laughs> We're not even having opportunities to win with Bananasaurus Rex. The Pepper MDs are so OP, man. Look at this garbage. Wow. Uh, should I hit him with this just for just for funsies? Honestly, if he kills my um, Captain Q, I'm not going to even protect it because I don't, I don't need that to live. Yeah, we'll heal two more times. So we got a 20-20 on the board. I mean... Let's be real, it's it's five and one. I'm just Oh, the man's running Locust Storm. The only card Boogaloo can really actually kill the 2020. It's fine. We got ten and four. Alright, five and one. Let's go. Ooh. See ya. This deck is domination. Come on, man. How did we lose the game? That's the only question. That's the real question. Fruitcake. He would need three fruitcakes to kill the 2020. Imagine running locusts. Yeah, the superpower lingered on the board, apparently. Apparently. 
We need more Sunstrike V-Rex, though. Uh, boom. This isn't actually a good card against Brainstorm. I'm just going to look for Black IP. Oh, this is also a bad card because he has so many summonings and beam me ups and stuff here. Fry stream is the best part of every day, objectively. Yes, that's an objective fact, okay? Today's stream is sponsored by Tums. No, it's not. I just. I'm Jewish. I have an acidy stomach. You guys know how this works. You guys know. Jews just con consume Tums by the hundreds. Buy one of these every month. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty bad. I'm just gonna pass there. <gasps> Is this my brainstorm deck? Oh my gosh! Please play Meteor Z. <gasps> it's my. It's, it's the. It's the deck. I just posted to YouTube like two days ago. Today is May 1st. I posted this to YouTube yesterday on the last day of April. I'm so happy to see someone playing it because this is a really scary deck. I'm actually going to have to start healing. I'm going to Scorch here because out of desperation. This deck has reach. This deck is like a turn five gadget scientist is going to delete all of our health. So um, you'd have to, most of it's Greystones too. So this doesn't even help that much. Uh, let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna put you here. And then we'll hit him with this. That's... It could be a teleportation zombie, drone engineer. Um... Teleportation zombie plus something would, would kill this. So maybe I'll go with... I'll do this here. It could be electrician if he's running a bootleg version, but I'm not gonna play around that. It's better, way better to play on teleportation zombie. Moving this to height so we can't get the advantage. Oh, man, he had another one, so we played that actually correctly. Uh, we have a cop cannon. We also have like double catch it mechanic. My gosh, I'm so scared of gadget scientist next turn. Okay, so the play, we could cop cannon. And what would we kill, though? This, I guess. He's probably just going to go face with us. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. <laughs> this is a really good deck. I'm going to go with the heals. I think the heals is the way. Heal. Heal. I think also taking this off the board is going to be a very good thing. The, the cool thing is now is the Cobb Cannon will kill both of these next turn. Eureka. I'm glad I sort of know this deck because this deck deletes all of your health in, in one. It's so much. It's like I'm playing so desperation because, again, he could, like, have teleport in something, use a sugary tree, which puts all this damage on the board. If I hadn't heal, I mean, I heal for six there. We'd be down to a lot. We would have died. <laughs> Why are you killing the twin sunflower? Oh, my gosh. This is such a good Eureka card. It's a naturally growing... Science card. Crazy. I, I, you know, there's a version with this with Rust Ball. So, I'm going to do this next turn now. I'm going to hit the teleportation zombie. We, we don't have the cop cannon quite yet. He's probably going to play for a teleport here. And then we'll hit him with just bit B-Rex, I guess. So this is a really good Jabate. And then looks good. Just has one damage here again. He could play a couple sugary treats, which will bring this way up. He's got teleport, of course, but that lowers the amount that he can do this turn. Okay, he got stupid cupid, so that'll hit the B Rex. Oh, so annoying. <laughs> Eureka being good for him. But yep, we're at 15 health. Kinda happy. He got rid of all of our Binet, all, all cop cannon, you know, team ups there, which is so annoying. So here's two drone engineer slash teleportation zombies. I'm not feeling the cop cannon right now. I 
I think the cop cannon's gonna be better later. I think I'm just doing this. It'll work next turn. The cop cannon now, I think in three, will be good next turn. It'll kill a teleportation zombie. That's all he had though, it's just three damage. Doesn't have a whole lot going on this board because we're taking most of it off. As long as he's not playing sugary treats, we'll be okay here. Uh, it's probably Cobb in three, and then Banana Peel, the drone engineer, to lane one. That's pretty good. No drone, though. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're getting so low on health here. I'm gonna have to go. <laughs> I know 12 doesn't seem like low, but <laughs> it's low against this deck. Uh, and hopefully the sun strikes will be able to finish this guy off. Sun strikes, so they break one of them is breaking. We only really need one right now. Okay, we're at 13. He only has two cards, that's the good news. There's Pepper in there. Oh, snap! Oh, look at the combo for turn eight. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. The banana peel helping us manipulate these lanes, too, man. Please don't clog every lane. Oh, I just screwed it up, actually. That's so annoying. That's truly very, very annoying. I can't banana peel anymore, so I can't do the pepper MD thing. Uh, I think we're just doing that. Should I sack the Pepper MD here? Is that crazy? You can sugary treat here. That's okay. I get it, it's scary. He does have the sugary treat to kill the heal. It's so annoying. But that's also a sugary treat that cannot go face now. You know, if anything, that could be scarier in lane 4 because then he'd be taking half our health away. Now we got a full block meter, which helps a lot. Really, even if he has a gadget plus what? Like, how does he even win now? As long as you're able to, to stall this deck out. Should be okay. B-Rex, Sunstrike, plus Banana Peel? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Guys, look at this play. Wow. Uh, pretty sure this is better. This will go down to three attack. We're going up to five health. Oh my gosh, it's all strike through too. Guys, look at the play. Uh oh, no, 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 no. I think we're good because we're going phase for ten, five at least, and then it's four and six. None of his superpowers can prevent. No, we win. That's guaranteed. Got him. Got him. Nice try, bro. Nice deck. For the win. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Damn, V Rex getting it done. That's what I'm talking about. That right there, that right there, dude. It's literally, it's like literally what I'm talking about. Yes. Uh, that makes it six, right? So the answer is yes. Hold on. We gotta write down this highlight intro. We gotta, we got some stuff to do here. Got some clerical work. Oh, this is going on YouTube no matter what. <laughs> uh -huh. Game seven end, and the answer is yes for the bets. Let's get to the next game here. The answer is yes. Oh, this is going on you. You bet this is going on you too. 
And we got the BRX combo. Let's go. This deck's so busted, man. Uh, do we keep Twin against Neptuna? There's Sumo and then the Super. The Sumo can be easily circumvented. Maybe I'll just get rid of this. For something to actually ramp through. Still better. Cucumber also against Hardy Heroes who have Rolling Stone. Not a very good card. Shamsil is a force to be reckoned with, man. I feel like Gravestones are the real key to beating Shamsila. Yeah, thank you Frieza again for suggesting this one. Uh, I think let's just get the options. I'm not going to save it for a dinosaur. More options the better. So if we see a Gravestone here, there's that. That's actually good. I'm just going to start building the Pepper MD now, I think. We can build it literally every turn. Two and then three, having a second little buddy. This overall helps us. Uh, so I think the way this is going to work is there's Black Hole. Okay, well, that answers that question. Should I ramp here? That means on turn five, we'll have a lot going on. And this does punish really hard. I think I'm actually going to do this, though. We'll do Pepper MD plus Captain Cucumber next turn. Yeah, it's a good deck. So I think Captain Cucumber on Heights to play around the Black Hole, and then Laser Base Alpha. If he had a Laser Base Alpha, he'd be playing this on the ground, so the Pepper MD should be pretty safe on ground. There's also this play. Um, I think we'll get a better catch-up mechanic later, and starting to draw is a really good idea here. So... I'll just put this in middle. Protect it with a little buddy. Play around Smoke Bomb, I guess. I could have spammed the other little buddy. Honestly, though, if we're really saving the other little buddy for the cop cannon next turn. It's, it's definitely what we want to do. That's a inconsequential going viral. It doesn't really do anything here. There's a 7 cost <laughs> healing for 10. I'll definitely take it. Captain Cucumber getting it done. Wow, so there's this whole world where we just... <laughs> okay guys, we'll do the we'll do the next Pepper MD play next turn. This is just too juicy. Look at this. So it reduces both of these to zero attack, essentially negating them, and then it kills this guy who was gonna kill our Captain Cucumber. Best cop cannon of all time. Come on man, we'll just do this next turn. Now we have another little buddy for yet another cop cannon if we need it. <laughs> bro, get wrecked! Just concede! Just, just, just give it up, bro. The man is fighting strong. He has so much courage. Oh my gosh, we just did so much damage there, too. Oh, snow. okay, we'll do that next turn. <laughs> oh, look at this play. Look at this play, guys. Look at the play. This itself is a 4-4. Ridiculous. Guys, look at this play. It's gonna be, uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, that's very good. Very, very, very good. Very, very good. We'll spam this first. And we'll give him one of these. Whee! <laughs> Alright, GG. <laughs> it's not... This is not fair. We're at 20 health, and this is our board. This is, this is just not... It's not fair. It's just not fair. Ain't two ways about it. I'll take the seven and one today. I'll take it. Look at the shutout too. Not even close. We even got burp. Yes. Yes. Oh, we did. It got dead. All right, guys. That was the Banana Surus Rex Sunstrike deck, sponsored by Pepper MD, and how good that card is. Everything worked. I mean, the Allosaurus were amazing. Captain Cucumber dominated. Catch a mechanic. Banana Star Strikes was fine. Had it had its moments. Cobb Cannon. The Sun Strikes were fine. The ramp. Everything worked. I mean, everything absolutely worked. Hard to find a deck that just is this cohesive with this many synergies. And the Sun Strikes really, at the end of the day, once you have a big board, man, they slap. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was the B Rex Sun Strike deck. I will see you in the next one. Of course, that's going on YouTube. Peace, this is Fry.